The Shoei XSPR Pro is the new sport racing helmet from the Shoei brand. Did Shoei manage to improve on the popular Shoei Xperia 3? We sent our test rider out on the road again and he came back with a lot of interesting data, so stay tuned. Hi all, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. The Shoei X SPR Pro is a new race helmet from Shoei and it's the successor of the Shoei Xperia 3. The helmet has been tested according to the new strict European ECE 2206 certification and the helmet is also FIM certified which is becoming more and more mandatory at circuits. The Xperia Pro has been improved on the ventilation and aerodynamics which has led to a better airflow and less resistance. With a suggested retail price of around 799 euros, the Shoei X SPR Pro will compete with the AGV Pista GPRR, the HAC RV1, the Scorpion XO Air 1 Carbon Air, the Bell Raystar DLX, the X Lite X803 RS Ultra Carbon, the Shark Race Air Pro GP, the Arai RX7 V Evo, the Icon Airframe Pro, and the Roof Road 200. We are going to start the review with the material part. The outer shell of the XSPR Pro is made of showy shock absorbing AIM Plus and is available in four different outer shell sizes XS, S, M, L, XL and double XL. The AIM Plus outer shell size consists of several layers of fiberglass composite. AIM Plus has the characteristics of providing ultimate strength and shock absorption and it also features a multi-density EPS inner shell. This provides great impact absorption and it makes the helmet even safer. If we are going to look at its score for material, we see that the helmet is made of AIM Plus and comes in four outer shell sizes. Because of this, the helmet scores four stars for the material part. But what does this mean when we start comparing it to its competitors? If we put this in a chart with all its competitors, we see that it scores well. At the top is the Bell Raystar DLX, which is made of 3K carbon and comes in five outer shell sizes. Next is the AGV Pista GPRR, followed by the Shoei X SPR Pro and the HAC RV1. So, we see in terms of material that the X SPR Pro does well, but how does it do on other criteria? Okay, let's continue with an important part of a helmet, namely the weight. Of course you want the helmet to be as light as possible. This gives a nice riding experience and it prevents fatigue in the neck. If we weigh the Shoei X SPR Pro in a size M, then the scale indicates 1442 grams. The helmet is heavier than its predecessor, but this is because the helmet has the new ECE 2206 certifications. To pass the test, more material is used. During this test, a penetration test is done on 12 places, where at the 2205 test, only 4 places were tested. To pass the 2206 test, the whole helmet has to be reinforced and made safer, and not just 4 places. So. More material is needed and this results in a heavier weight. An important point to take into account is the balance of the helmet. It is important that a helmet has a good balance in terms of weight. The helmet should not be heavier on the front nor the back. If the helmet is heavier at the front than the back, your neck is going to be strained enormously. You get tired faster and it takes away your riding pleasure. Shoei has done a really good job of this with the XSPR Pro. If we move the helmet back and forth, we feel the same weight on the left side as well as on the right side. To see where the center of gravity of the helmet is, you can very easily move the helmet back and forth. With a weight of 1442 grams, the XSPR Pro scores 4 stars. But let's see how the weight of the helmet compares to its competitors. The XSPR Pro scores reasonably well with a weight of 1442 grams. At the top we see the Roof Row 200 which was by far the lightest, however this helmet is not 2206 certified, so with the certification of the XSPR Pro in mind it really does score well. The Scorpion and the x Lite also score really well in this section and the Icon Airframe Pro is at the bottom in this section with a weight of 1680 grams. Now that we've had the material and the weight, we'll move on to the visor. The visor of the XSPR Pro is a CWR F2R visor which is pinlock lens prepared and tear off prepared. The pinlock lens that is included is a pinlock EVO DKS304 lens. This visor has a two-dimensional shape and it ensures that the visor holds itself clean and does not distort as a more curved visor often does. The XSPR Pro also uses a double secured visor lock system. This is an additional lock for securing the visor to the visor mechanism. In addition to the double secured visor lock system, you can further secure the visor by a front closure that you can slide over the visor. This reduces the risk of the visor coming off your helmet in event of an incident. 
When we add this all up, the XSPR Pro scores 4.5 stars, which is really excellent. But how does this compare to its competitors? When we start comparing this with its competitors, we see that it comes out on top of the list along with the Bell Raystar DLX and the Scorpion XO Air 1 Air Carbon. At the very bottom, we see the Icon Airframe Pro. This helmet is in fact only anti-fog prepared and has a reasonable field of view. Okay, so much for the review in the studio. We will now begin with the road test. On the left side you see a white thermometer displaying the inside temperature of the helmet. This is connected to a sensor that is inside the helmet. Above, in the middle, you see the decibel meter. This is connected to a microphone that is placed near our rider's ear. This captures the noise as our rider hears it. In the middle you see the dashboard of the bike showing the speed of our rider. Okay, now that that's all clear we'll start the road test with the noise isolation. In terms of noise isolation, the Shoei XSPR Pro gave us an average of 99 decibels at a wind speed of about 120 km per hour. But how good is this really? As you can see in the overview, it scores incredibly well. With 99 decibels, it is almost the quietest racing helmet at the moment. Only the Scorpion XO Air 1 Air Carbon scores better with 98 decibels. If we look at its predecessor, the Shoei Xperia 3, it is 4 decibels quieter. This may not sound very exciting, but every decibels at these kind of values make a significant difference and is noticeable to the rider. We continue with the ventilation of the helmet. And the first thing you notice is that the front and the top ventilation is merged. If you dive behind the fairing while riding, you won't notice the front ventilation anymore. To address this issue, Shoei has chosen to merge the front ventilation with the top ventilation so that the helmet continues to ventilate well. The XSPR Pro has a total of seven ventilation openings that you can open or close. Shoei has placed a cheek vent system in the motorcycle helmet. The cheek pads do not block the airflow and the air Airflow can be distributed through the chin opening. All the air is let out through the six air vents on the back and on both sides of the helmets. So we can say that the aerodynamics have really improved over its predecessor. The XSPR Pro has an integrated spoiler, V-Trex generators at the visor and a lower spoiler. This has ensured that the overall resistance, the drag and the elevator pulling the helmet upwards compared to its predecessor, the Xperia 3, which already was very good, has become even better. You can clearly see this by the shape that is placed on top of the helmet. This is a new innovation from Shoei for which a patent has been applied but not yet received. If we look farther into the aerodynamics, we see that there is a stabilizer placed on the back of the helmet with fins. The stabilizer allows the helmet to have a more controlled airflow and therefore keeps you more stable while riding up the speeds of 360 km per hour. But how well does the helmet perform when we test it out on the road? Inside the helmet we have measured a value of 23 degrees. This was exactly the same as the temperature outside, which tells us that the ventilation does its job. We again compare this score with its competitors and we see two helmets that do better. The Bell Raystar DLX and the Icon Airframe Pro. In fact, these were one degree cooler inside the helmet compared to the outside temperature. The Pista GPRR, the Arfa One, the Air X7 V Evo and the Shoei X SPR Pro all had the same inside and outside temperature. All helmets are evenly matched and the Shoei X SPR Pro scores 4 stars for the ventilation part. Now we have come to the comfort part, and for this part we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider, who has also tested all the other helmets mentioned today and can therefore make the comparison like no other. The XSPR Pro has a 3D Max Dry inner lining that is removable, washable and features Shoei's personal fit. This allows you to take out any part of the lining and adjust it to the right size. The cheek pads are available in different thicknesses. Shoei has also adapted the personal fitting, where previously you glued extra layers to the outside of the lining, you now have insert pillows. Furthermore, the inner lining is adjustable by pressing down the cheek pads and this makes the helmet tiltable up to 4 degrees in relation to the standard position. This gives you an even better field of view for when you are behind the fairing during racing. Our test rider also mentioned that the use of extra soft material in the inner lining behind the ears was nice and this is an extra sensitive area. Our test rider gave the helmet 5 stars in terms of comfort, so let's see how the competitors did on this part. We see that the Shoei XSPR Pro is the most comfortable racing helmet at the moment. The AGV Pista GPRR comes closest with 4.5 stars, so this is an excellent result. But we are not done yet, so let's continue with the features part. 
The features are actually all the extras that manufacturers have placed on the helmet. Shoei's new racing helmet has an emergency quick release system, which is an important feature. This ensures that in the event of an incident, the helmet can be taken off in a safe and easy way and the helmet has a double declosure. The XSPR Pro is also prepared for a drinking system for the longer races. Shoei is still developing this system and it will be sold as an accessory in the future. The Shoei X SPR Pro is also prepared for a universal communication system. If we add up extra options, we see that the Shoei X SPR Pro gets 4 stars for the features part. If we compare this with its competitors, we see that it comes out on top together with the AGV Pista GPRR, the Arai RX7 V Evo and the HSA Arfa 1, which is a very good score. We have now had all the parts and if we are going to look at the total picture, the Shoei X SPR Pro gets 4 stars for its material because it comes in 4 shell sizes and is made of fiberglass. For a weight of 1442 grams it gets 4 stars and because of the visor is pinlock lens prepared and this is included in the box it gets 4.5 stars for this. For the noise isolation the helmet gets 4 stars thanks to a value of 99 decibels and because the temperature was the same as the inside as the outside temperature the helmet earns 4 stars for this. For comfort the helmet gets 5 stars and for features because of the FIM certification and all the extras it gets 4 stars. So now we have come to the end of this video. We have seen that Shoei's new helmet really is an upgrade compared to its predecessor and it scores well on all criteria and with this excellent results the helmet gets a knee champion helmet score of an 8.4 with 27 euros per star earned. Would you like to learn more about the Shoei X SVR Pro? Then visit our website championhelmets.com where we offer the lowest price guarantees and we have nice discount bundles. Also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our reviews, road tests and guides. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.